user function should be one of the first functions that you master within Power Apps. So the user function, it has four properties that we can use. Does that surprise you? For the longest time, there's only been three, full name, image, and email. But there's a fourth one, so stick around to the end. But here, I'm just trying to get at their name. So here, I'm going to type in a dot and the full name property. What does that do? It displays my full name right here. Perhaps we should say something to them, like, hello, world. How can we put those things together? Well, we're going to utilize, we're going to hit Shift-7 which gives us the ampersand operator, which will take the items before it and after it and put them together. Look at the screen here. Hello world, Darren Neese. Let's move on to something a little bit more exciting, like an image. Okay, so we'll go down here on this insert menu and we will select image. Do you see image? I don't. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna start typing image because I'm not gonna hunt through all those categories. Pull it down here. And right now you see up here for the image property of this image control, we have sample image. Well, let's go use our user function and we'll say, image. Oh, look at that. Now that's not really me, but uh, that is my profile photo. Now, what about a user's email? I'm going to copy and paste this label up here at the top, pull this down. We'll use that user function here. We'll say email. So I'm going to utilize the user function here and I'll say dot email. Oh, look at that. It's got my email address here. So now you guys know where to find me. Now the new property of the user function. So I'm going to copy and paste this label here at the top and show you the fourth and new property of the user function. Okay. I'm going to take off these uh, double quotes around here. I'm going to hit dot and let's look and see what we have here. We now have a new item, intra object ID. Now, what exactly is this? You see that I've got this value, I've got my cursor in here and it's showing me it's a GUID, a globally unique identifier. And the value is that. A GUID is an interesting value because it is globally unique. And by now, I hope that you fully understand and how to use the user function.